Hey friend, welcome back. Today I want to show you my favorite beauty counter products. I have a couple videos about my morning and evening skincare routine, but I use a couple different brands. And I know when I shop, I tend to shop one brand at a time. So I thought it'd be helpful to have all my favorite beauty counter products in one place so that you can more easily shop rather than having to go watch multiple videos. This is a hydrating essence. It's a type of toner that's designed for dry aging skin. And if you have dry skin or aging skin and you're skipping this step and you use beauty counter skincare products, that's a mistake. So this is so incredibly hydrating and it actually has the highest amount of Bakuchiol, which is the anti-aging ingredient in the counter time line. So if you were to choose between the essence or the serum, I would go for the essence. The next product I really like in my morning routine is this vitamin C serum. It's the All Bright C serum. It's bright yellow has turmeric, smells amazing. It's great for anti-aging dullness. It helps protect against environmental stressors and it also stains your robe. So keep that in mind. A little intermission for deodorant. I like the lavender scent, but you can change the, like it's refillable. So this part pops out and then you can swap the scents. So my neighbors are walking by. I wonder if they can see me in the window. Hey neighbors. Next up is a moisturizer. I prefer the Counter Time Soft Cream, but I'm out of it and I have this little counter start. So it's fine. It's not quite as hydrating, but if you want a more affordable moisturizer, it's a good one. Now this I feel very strongly about. I have tried so many eye creams and I'm always searching for like the Holy Grail eye cream, but this actually is the Holy Grail eye cream. I just opened a new one. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's great for fine lines, puffiness, dark circles. Oh, it just feels so good. Love on your mission. All right, lastly, this counter sun sunscreen. Designed for your face, zinc based, absorbs really easily. And because it doesn't smell awful and it's not heavy and thick, I actually use it on my arms as well. I'm terrible about wearing sunscreen. So if I have to use a face sunscreen to get me to do it, that's, that's what it takes. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, maybe. And then I'm gonna show you the few makeup products that I like from Beauty Counter. It's not my favorite makeup brand, but they do have a few things that I really, really like. So hold tight. Okay, I'm back. I really, really like their blushes. I obviously have a bunch. They do cream blushes and oh my gosh, my son has gotten into this one. He likes it too. But this little thing right here pops out, so they're refillable. So you don't have to replace this every time and the refills, refills are cheaper. I'll show you all the different shades that I have. Very pink. I think chai is probably the most like universal, universal shade, which might be what this one is. I'd have to pop it out to see the name on the back, but um, it's just a really pretty natural flush. Like if you struggle with blush, you feel like you look insane. This is a really natural looking option. They are designed to be used all over. Like you can use them on your eyes. I always feel like I look like I'm sick if I put a pink shade on my eye, but if that tone works well on you, know that you can. It also works on lips. And you can layer them for like a different color. So like this is a darker color. And it's more of a, like a matte look color. Sorry, I'm leaning. I'm looking in the mirror that I have to the left of my camera because I'm just that professional. If you don't want to use your fingers, I don't know where my blush brush is, but this will work. You can also apply it with a brush. Love, love, love their blushes. I actually keep one in my purse it's for like little afternoon touch-ups. I love their highlighter. It's not like a really pigmented highlighter where like, you know, some highlighters you put on and it's like, it is like a very distinct, bright, almost white color. They have multiple shades. I only have this one. Um, I'll double check the name on it. Actually, let me show you how to pop this out. Get a little, there's a little hole in the back. Just pop this out. This is shade Lunar. Gives you more of like a glow than a true like pigmented look. They have other shades that give more pigment, but this one is just like gorgeous for a little glow. 
maybe the best highlighter I've ever used. Last makeup thing I like are their lipsticks. I have a ton. Ah! They've changed the packaging over the years, which is why they look different. I like their sheer conditioning lipsticks best because they're really hydrating and they apply more like a balm so you don't have to like look in the mirror. They're also coming out with a traditional lipstick that's long lasting. I think that's coming out in late May. So if you want something like that, but I like these to just throw in my purse. Really natural, hydrating, they smell nice. Great option. Okay. Three more quick product, oh, four, four, four. I use these at night, so they didn't cross my mind since I'm filming in the morning, but this overnight resurfacing peel is a game changer for anti-aging. It's like a safer retinol. You can use it when pregnant. It's more gentle, but it's really effective. So you'll just put that under your moisturizer at night. On the nights I'm not using the overnight resurfacing peel, I use this Radiant Serum. Again, just a really good anti-aging serum. And then this is the world's best, best night cream. I've tried so many. Again, I'm always on the hunt for the perfect night cream and I keep coming back to this one. It's super thick, but it's not heavy or greasy. It's incredibly hydrating. I mean, you cannot go wrong. You use a tiny, tiny amount. I mean, there's really no point in me showing you this because they're just continuing it, but I'm just gonna talk about it in case they do bring it back because it's just so good. This hand sanitizer, it's like the world's most expensive hand sanitizer, but it's also a hand serum and hands show aging too. It smells so good. It makes your hands feel hydrated, not sticky. It doesn't burn. Ugh, they're getting rid of it. It's such a shame. Got addicted to it during those days when we were not touching anything. So I hope that was helpful. If you have questions about literally any beauty counter product, I've tried almost everything, or I, maybe I have tried everything except a couple shades of certain products. So if you have any questions, let me know. I've used their products for seven and a half years. If I find something I like better, I switch. So I'm not completely loyal to this brand, like a lot of consultants and I will be absolutely honest. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, I'll also put in the description, the best ways to save money because there are definitely some insider tricks to save some serious cash. Hope you have a good day.